Hello and uh, welcome to a uh, tutorial with me again and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do statues. Uh, it's uh, me Mac uh, Aggressive MX and I'm gonna bring you another. Uh, but first I'm gonna show you what, which kind which program you're gonna use or I use. I use Google SketchUp I'm gonna link this in the description. I use this uh, there 3ds three ds there and the total blender or yes blender I don't know but these three programs I will link them in the description this one is free this one it's free for for student. You or you can just use the use the try, and this this is free. Uh, I'm gonna link all the things in the description and so and where you can sign up if you're a student, you can get this free for free. Uh, I do my statue in this. Someone some people do a statue in this one, and yeah, you know. But I'm gonna do my because I don't so familiar with the 3ds Max, I've only been using it for like five hours. Uh, that's why I'm gonna use the SketchUp to do my uh, do my statue. So we begin with erasing, erase that, and I'm gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna do for you. Maybe I do. I can do. Yeah, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh, not s nothing special. Actually, I'm just gonna do like a box. Uh, I can do or yeah, I can do this. I can do this one. Uh, take the rectangle or. I'm gonna take it and uh, I'll do a little flat surface here and use the push and pull tool up here you see and drag it up a little then I'm gonna just to get the straight line you look around like this with the, the scroll button you just click it in and if you press H you can get up a hand and you can just drag yourself in this. But then I can use the line tool, the pencil, and check there is the middle, the mi midpoint. And drag it up. Uh, yeah. That. And uh, this, don't click, just uh, go and take something else. I'm gonna take this. And go from the middle and work it out like that. Uh, now I'm gonna delete or erase the line there and the in here too and use the push pull tool again or I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna see if it works no uh, I'm gonna use uh, a line here too in the middle like that and then use this again so it uh, stops at the exact see perfect I'm gonna erase this too and that from here I'm gonna use the this tool that is named arc and just put one there and one in the end yeah there and use it make it bent like that do another one and make it bent too what like that and now I'm gonna take the this tool again and drag it all the way like that that looks pretty good I think 
I'm gonna delete or erase those. Oh crap! Control Z to get it back. Or yeah, and if I erase that, I have to have that. This one. Yep. No. Oh. But I think it looks better with like a line there. And like that. Oh, like a wide. roadblock or parking block I have already done one but I'm gonna do another and uh, then I'm gonna go to file export 3d model and name it tut and save it as or export it as a DAE file so now it's complete don't uh, press down just minimize it so after you have done that, you should have a one that is named hmm. I think I didn't export it as or where did I export it? <laughs> oh, to my document export it to whatever you want but I'm gonna have them in the desktop right now. So now I export it here. And then I open up 3ds Max. And in 3ds Max I'm gonna choose the, the how big the, it's gonna be in the in the game. And trust me you're gonna need to re-export it many times from uh, 3ds Max with the, re the, with the right uh, uh, scale. It's gonna take a while but you will figure it out. After you have done many statue you can you, you know how <laughs> like you know how big it's gonna be in the game so but now it's it has opened it up so I'm gonna go just you're gonna go to this uh, crazy mark mark thing here, and go down to import. Well, again import there. So now I'm gonna go to the desktop. Tut da, and export the import. Warning. For notes, a bit. Rise. I don't know where it is but I think it will be fine it looks good so yeah I don't see anything wrong with it and this one here. So it looks fine. So what I'm gonna do? I have done similar like this, and then I used just two of them, two uh, squares. Uh, but just gonna mark it like that, and go to the select the uniform scale. So if I hold in the middle, I make it the all the the whole thing smaller. If I take it on the side here, it this would be the the height, but everything moves. No, oh no, I and I don't want to change anything. So see if I hold just this on the line here, it would be. Yes, get high and high and high and high. So, but I'm gonna change everything. So, hold in the middle. I'm gonna make it smaller. Oh. And to look up and down like this, press the in the scroll. And then I use this select the move tool. 
gonna drag it like that. Uh, if I get to it, good. And here I'm gonna look for, you see, on the top of the the front the wireframe, I can see this cross here, the more the black cross here. Uh, how high I gonna have it? If I have it like this and I export it, it's gonna fly in the game. And if I have it like this, it's gonna be under. So I'm gonna try to get it right there. That's perfect. And I want to have it in the middle. I will have it in the middle. Like that. So now it's done. This is gonna be pretty big, big in the game. But yeah, it doesn't matter. And uh, now press this uh, rectangle selection region and you select. So we have it selected. And go to export, press an arrow, export selected, and export it as a OBG, OBJ file, uh, OBJ exporter, and name it, and save it on the desktop, and here, set the preset to Blender, the precision, precision to 6, and on check this too and this vertex and change this from uh, 0 0.1 to 1.0 so it's scale 1 so if you, it is uh, too big in the game and you want the uh, half the size you write in 1.5 so good will will you cough here <laughs> and uh, if you want it uh, the twice as big uh, 2.0 so uh, so export it now and it is very fast exporter so it's already done and don't cancel it down just uh, or close it down just uh, minimize it so I have I should have now uh, uh, here the tut and this is from a OBG file and then we're gonna open up the total or the blender. Now, uh, this box just delete it. Press delete. And yes, and we're gonna open up. Oh, can close my. Like that, and uh, then we're gonna file. Or or first or first. I'm gonna put in a file that in there where you can download a GM a converter mm. and you're gonna install it uh, the GM exporter I mean in this file here or in the blender so how to do it uh, just download it from the forum you're gonna save it uh, save link so you know uh, and when it have downloaded it, go into file, use a preference, add-ons, and just install from file and search it up here. I have already done it, so I'm just gonna search it up. This is installed add-ons, so we know it is a, is a, a exporter or importer. So we're gonna go here to import, import until we see there we have it port export file and it's uh, export mx simulator model and just gonna check it, check it this box and uh, yeah you can minimize it or close this this it doesn't matter and uh, then we're gonna import uh, wavefront ob and on the desktop I have a tutorial here this can open up and first before you move anything or like that press double click on rotate and press the X uh, axle Le oh, yeah and write 270 
and press enter. And after you see yes, press on scale one time, and if you drag the mouse now, uh, you see it make it smaller. So yes, make it smaller. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of size you have here. The only thing that matter what kind what what uh, size you have here. So if you make this really big, even if even if it's it even if it is this small in the blender, it will still be big. So uh, I can make the scale like that and it will uh, uh, in a way be big so but I'm gonna have it like that and now I'm gonna just export it I'm gonna export it as a MX simulator model GM on the desktop and yes export I should have now a file that is here that and uh, now after this, we're gonna go into Photoshop or Paint. I think it will work with Paint. Uh, I can actually try it because everybody don't have Photoshop, so uh, I don't know if can if I can do a scale. Select the scale here. New one. Don't save. Uh, hmm. Yep, I'm just gonna try. And save as a PNG file. Dot. And save. And I'm also gonna do a with exact pixel, 512 and 512, and uh, it's gonna be gray. This is the thing. I can't do a shape file, so you can crash into it. It's just gonna be like a model uh, far away, so you you look so so you can drive into it and everything but mm. and I can't really do the blending of uh, color so you just you can just have one color so if you have this gray background and start to do like uh, textures here and nice c things and yeah everything it won't so show up in the game so uh, I'm gonna learn try to learn how f fast as possible and upload another tutorial on how to blend the file how to or how to blend the textures but yep yeah. anyway I have already done that too so uh, I'm sure this is, isn't exact uh, but I'm gonna delete it too because I already have one so now I'm gonna open up this uh, the app data where you have the track I'm just gonna go into take area 51 here and uh, gonna add this uh, that and I should have No, and uh, make sure you have the texture for a statue in the what? No. In the statue folder, otherwise it won't work. So, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna we're gonna just rename it to tattoo. Just make it easier. Uh, I'm gonna go into the the folder here, the statue folder, and I'm gonna scroll down to this, and I'm gonna write. I I count uh, the marks in English, but I'm just gonna write it up, and you will see. I can, if I can zoom in. 
So uh, you don't need to do exact like I do. You can have uh, other coordinates. This doesn't matter actually. Uh, so you can have like uh, uh, hundred dot uh, six zeros, uh, and the middle here is the height of the texture, the height of the statue, I think, but it should be that. This is the rotation, so it can be at zero, 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 zero. Now it's right. And now we're gonna do, now we're gonna do this a this messed up A and the uh, area the name of your track and I have it in a statue folder so it's gonna be statue if you don't have it you don't need to add it and uh, this is a uh, dot GM the shape file or the model make sure you have the GM thing first and then I'm gonna do it the same thing again area 51 So this and um, uh, little line uh, or uh, little space there and nay or and the uh, right null. I don't know what it does, but it make it work. If you don't have it, it won't work. So just use it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, press save. And then yeah, should be done. Uh, just gonna see. Let me touch. Yep. So if we go into the uh, MX simulator here, should be here somewhere yep there see it's very big but ex uh, you can do exactly what I sa said there you just change it, uh, make it smaller in the uh, 3ds Max here, just with this tool, and just make it smaller. Or you, when you export it, make it uh, lower scale. But this is the problem. I can just drive right into it. I don't want to be able to do that. And also this one that a friend made made to me. Uh, but uh, yeah that's how you do it uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like hit like if you yeah like it uh, you sh should not if you don't like it but uh, subscribe and uh, yeah T tell me maybe what you want me to do and I w will see wh what I can do about it if I can do anything or and uh, yeah so uh, bye and hope you liked it